وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى in this introduction I want to mention how we contradict ourselves in uh, speaking against any injustice that is done to a person or an organization or a particular individual. We stand up, we come together, we unite, we become united to speak against the injustice caused towards others. If also um, worldly calamities befall us, we all come together to do something. Well, COVID-19, look what when it happened. People were coming together, they were helping each other. Things were being done. This is a It's a calamity, but it's a worldly calamity. But when there happens to take place al-ma'asi ad sins happen and take place in the religion, we don't move about that. And the person who tries to talk about it, we say, Akhi, why are you self-righteous? Why are you always talking about these issues? Why do you think you're the, you're the chosen one? Why do you have this conscious Yani feeling in your heart and mind that Allah has only chosen you and the rest of us are not chosen. What made you think that? But what about worldly issues? What about worldly calamities? When I speak about those issues, I'm seen as a hero. I'm speaking as an honorable person. I'm seen as, you know, I'm speaking against issues that are worldly, that are affecting our world. I'm standing up and people praise me for it and adorn me for it, admire me, uh, admire me for it. But when it comes to inkarul munkar, the evil that's taking place in the religion, we're not too concerned about it. We're not. And by the way, I'm not saying that we shouldn't come together on these worldly issues. Alhamdulillah, it's very good. But why is al inkar wal ghadab rejecting and becoming upset and sad about al masaib al dunyawiya, worldly calamity? But then we're not sad, we're not angry, we're not annoyed when there is an uh, evil which is. There are sins happening in our local area. Why are we not too concerned about that? To be, not, to be honest, I remember a group of people saying to me, as Abdul Muttalib said to Abraha, Inna lil bayti rabban yahmih. This religion, Allah is going to protect it. We shouldn't concern ourselves too much. Just leave the people and let them do what they're doing. That's it, khalas. We shouldn't concern ourselves with Uh, people's affairs of their religion. What about dunya issues? Ah, oh, no problem. Talk about that. That's fine. That's a contradiction. The poet he said, "Abu Nayya inna min al rijal bahimatan fi surat al rajul al sami' al mubsiri fatin bi kull musibat fi malihi wa ida yusabu bi dinihi lam yashuri." The poet he said, "Abu Nayya, my son, inna min al rijal bahimatan." Amongst the people, there are cattle. People who are like haywan. في سورة الرجل السميع المبصير they are in the form of a man or a woman who can hear and see you but they are animals really but they look like human beings they can hear they can see you فاطلون بكل مصيبة في ماله every calamity that befall his wealth and his worldly affairs he's aware of it he's conscious وإذا يصاب بدينه لم يشعر but if something a calamity happens to his religion he doesn't care doesn't bother him That's a poet, that's a line of poetry we need to really think about. Are you choosing the dunya over the deen? Are you going to choose the calamities of the dunya over the calamities of the religion? Ponder and think. That's a clear-cut contradiction. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me, and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdi, ashadu la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos 
to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.